the equation of a straight line is can be written in, as y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. x and y are then they're known as variables. They're allowed to change, whereas m and c are fixed. So in our equation, we don't quite have in that form. We need to rewrite it in that form. And the first thing I can do is minus 7x from both sides. So 2y is minus 7x plus 10. Because remember, I'm trying to get it so y is just on the left by itself. And then I can divide through by 2. Minus 7x plus 10 divided by 2. We're nearly there. Now just remember, when you add fractions, like 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7, you actually end up doing 2 plus 3 all over 7. But you can just go the opposite way. So in fact, y is going to equal minus 7x over 2 plus 10 over 2. And there's one other little fact we can use. When you have a fraction like this, you can actually, so if you have, say, uh, 3 over 2 times, I don't know, 5, then you can write it as 5 over 1, and then it becomes 3 times 5 over 2. And what I'm trying to say is we can just bring this up into the top of the fraction. And over here I can do the same, but the opposite, I can write it as minus 7 over 2x. See, I can bring the x down like that, plus 5. And that's quite a nice simplified version. Of course, we're asked for the gradient, so that's just going to then be minus 7 over 2, because that's my m. Very important not to write minus 7 over 2x, that's just wrong. It is a constant gradient that's a number, it's the number to the left of the x. By the way, if you ever get like just y equals x, then there is still a number next left to the left of the x. It's 1. We just don't normally write it. Then find the coordinates of the point where L crosses the y-axis. That's actually our y-intercept. So in this case, it's going to have a negative gradient. It's going to come down a bit like this. It's the 5. It's when x is 0. When x is 0, that just disappears. And we just get 5. So it's going to be when x is 0 and y is 5. 